Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. And I'm Crystal. And we are Stitching the Dream. Today is September 20th. Yes. So I would like to say a very special happy birthday, Mary. I know today's your birthday and I'm thinking of you. You guys got to spend some time <laughs> We together. did, we did. We did. So I have had one heck of an August. I know yours has been a little insane too. So I... Um, I went to Minnesota. I think I, I think in our last video, you know, you were getting ready. three years ago, um, <laughs> so I, was getting, sorry. I was getting ready to, to go up to Minnesota, spend some time with my with my family, and I was we were going to do a shopping. And Crystal mm -hmm. was going to try to meet me up in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. and we were going to go to Stitchville, and I was going to go to Duluth and spend time with my family and my cousins. And oh gosh, what else was were we going to do? I, I mean, we were, yes. I, anyway. I went. Crystal couldn't make it. It just it, the scheduling didn't work. But I went. Um, I stopped in Madison, Wisconsin, to spend the night because I drove. I drove up to Duluth, stayed in Madison, went to this cute little art shop, art shop, fiber shop, stitch shop called Lynn's in huh. Madison. It turned out it was like two blocks from my hotel. Wow, it was like That's meant to nice. be. I'm gonna show. You. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna show you what I bought there because. I didn't, mm -hmm. Wait, I didn't take I my. Love it. I didn't take my sip yet. <laughs> now we can be. <laughs> so while at Lynn's, and I happen to have a kid, I've always I've seen people talk about these these little shaker boxes, and I've never I've never so had one, but I've always had my I've never always had my eye out on it. But they had these little look. Are they Lahey? Is that what they're Lahey's? This little Lahey's box. I love it. And. I bought it because I could. Yeah, it was there. It called my name and said, "Lisa, buy me." <laughs> so this was on my way to Duluth, Minnesota, Midpoint, Madison, Wisconsin. Anyway, you already have something you're thinking about putting. And I do. Too. And and these are the flosses that are going to go on. I'm going to do a blackbird. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's from the Ooh La La book. Mm -hmm. it, it, anybody who's got the Ooh La La booklet, you'll you'll know the the piece. It's the oval shaped. Yes, the that they put on a the last square rose box. Or the, yeah, they put the, the oval piece. When they finished yeah. it, they finished it on a square box. But and, you're going to finish it And I'm going to do it on this, which is vintage, vintage country mocha that I dunked in coffee for a couple hours because I wanted it just a little, a little bit darker. And then I stuck it in the oven all crinkled up. And I think it, I think it looks I beautiful. think it darkened it up just enough. I think so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'd show you what I'm doing, but... I have no idea what I did with that book because um, I am apparently not the most organized, even though I, <laughs> pretend, you're pretty I pretend to be. Anyway, one day I'll show you that. That's right. Maybe not today. Time, but there'll be something that you can share for the next time. Yep. So <laughs> on this trip, so then I went to Minnesota and I spent time with my, with my mother and my dad who was in memory care. So visiting with him was really nice. He was, he's still pretty alert at that point and got to spend time with my cousins up at the cabin on the lake and which you always have always such a great always time. have a good time doing that so hi cousins on the lake love you guys <laughs> and then i took a day where i went down to minneapolis to meet up with my with my my birth mom i'm i'm my two brothers and i are, are all adopted um but i've been in contact with my birth mom mary happy birthday again and we went out to lunch, and we went to Stitchville, oh, nice. and spent a lot of money at Stitchville, <laughs> USA. And we went out for lattes after. It was just a really lovely, lovely mm, day. That's so sweet. Yeah. So that that was a lot of fun. Then I went back to Minis back to Duluth, and it was my cousin's birthday, and did a whole bunch of things. And then I came back to drove back to Cincinnati. Yeah. On maybe. Monday or Tuesday, maybe Tuesday or so. And then the following Monday, I get a call from my brother saying, you need to come back up. Dad's not doing well. You, you need to come up right away. So I booked a flight that Monday night. And um, so I got on the plane, flew up there Monday night, and by, sun, by Friday morning, my dad had passed away. So we had a lot of, a lot of things to do. A lot of things to take care of, a lot of family to... Uh. But what happened was that you had 
even though dad passing, your dad passing, mm -hmm. you got to be with family and it was such a joyful, happy. It was, it was, everybody coming. It was really joyful. And my dad was very loved, very yes. loved man. Yes. And you and your cousins just celebrated and had a blast. We did. We did. So we had the, his funeral was the following Friday because um, it was holiday weekend when he when he passed away um, so we you know mom and I took care of all the all the arrangements actually we pre took care of most That's of the right. arrangements the summer before when he first went into memory care right and um, wasn't that smart yeah yeah so mm -hmm. all we had to do was do the the little details you know, right. the little final details and and um, it, it was it was wonderful so Mark flew up the next day both of my daughters flew in that week and um, so I had I had my whole family with me. Both my brothers were there with their whole families, and all my nephews, and all my cousins, and all my aunts and uncles. And just the outpouring of love for that man was was beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful to see. We you have and a then, beautiful close family. Yep. Yeah, and then and then we do. We really do. And then when the um, when the funeral was done and the lunch was done, we all went down to the American Legion. Which was what, my dad right. would have would have loved, and we we uh, I guess is that what a, a wake would be? We yes. we we toasted Jerry way into the night. Didn't he? It have was a, a twenty one gun. He did. He had, his, he had a yes. He had, so he was full military honors, and yes. I've got the one of the shell casings from from the salute, and I've got the flag How the amazing. flag that he flew at. Um, the, at cabin, the cabin for yeah. many years it was all tattered so they they took it down and replaced it just this summer and folded it up and, and kept it and then yes. they presented it to me my cousins presented it to me um at the funeral so that was it was How lovely amazing that was so good yeah so as sad of an occasion as it was it was it was wonderful it was wonderful and that's the way they're supposed to be to celebrate someone's life yeah. yes you're gonna grieve and you're gonna mourn mm -hmm. but just to have that much love and to have everybody come and share that with you because you already know it. Yeah. But then to have everybody come and share that yeah. is Yep, it was it was so pretty amazing. it was pretty special. So that was um it took up about four weeks of my August. So. Well, and I had a a similar but different experience. Um my uh, youngest son and his wife went on vacation and I had their baby they only have one and so I had him for a week and um, unfortunately during that time her mom was in the hospital and came back out of the hospital and um, and uh, she passed away while taking a nap and uh, her dad her dad um, my daughter-in-law's father went to wake up um, her mom and she wasn't conscious and so they called 911. They were able to get a pulse on the way to the hospital but apparently she had been without oxygen for too long mm. and so they were able to keep her alive. They put her in a, a medical induced coma just to see if the brain would ha have any, you know, recovery. And Andrew, uh, Andrew uh, is my youngest son and his wife, uh, rushed back from their vacation and um, to be by her side. And, uh, and it took a couple of days for them to have a neurologist and everybody come in and say there's not enough brain activity. Oh, so and hard. so it was difficult. And this was while you <clears throat> were going through what you were going through. And, um, and so I kept my grandson during that week while they were uh, having family come in and say goodbye and another thing this family is very close like your family all the cousins came up all the aunts and uncles and the brothers and uh, sister and they were all able to say goodbye that's wonderful it was so wonderful. wonderful but it was very unexpected um, no one she had an infection and came home so that was my first two weeks, and then the next week, my youngest daughter and her fa and her husband, they had planned a vacation, half, like six seven months ago, to go to Gettysburg, and I was going to have all four of their children. So I went from two 
with my one grandson, then a week with my four grandchildren from Indiana, and then my oldest daughter from Texas called and said, hey, a couple dropped out of this um, trip to Croatia, um, and we only have two days, 48 hours, to let them know if we want to take that spot. <laughs> Would you be able to keep, you know, the, the, baby, the until... <laughs> baby? And I was like, uh -huh. absolutely. So Because you never say no. You never say no. Any, any, any of you who have no. grandchildren, you know. And we are so ask, much like that. Yes. When we're with each other, if they call, we, we know that we're going to take the phone call because our families know each other. So they're usually, hey, Crystal, hey, Lisa. <laughs> and so, um, so I had a couple of days lap from when my youngest daughter picked up her four and then the other granddaughter. You've been busy. And when, so, when did you sleep last? I haven't. <laughs> because right. it was just this weekend. Because I also asked my youngest daughter, can I keep um, the, since the other one's an only child, I wanted to keep one of the youngest daughter of hers so that I could have the two. And so the other three went home because the two older ones had to go to school. And so I kept the, the youngest daughter to help play with the other granddaughter. So for four weeks straight with no break in between. And we are not young women. We're not young. <laughs> and so um, it was just so much fun. But when we gave them both back this weekend, and I had Sunday, and I'm like, I think I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it was fun. And I always think, you know, my philosophy is naps are scary. I, I don't like she to does. take Because I, I know if I take a nap, I'm not. But there are some times when mm. all you, the yeah. only thing that'll make is, is a nap. Yeah. yeah, I get that. I well, get and that. if anybody knows me, they know every fall I get this, where I get the signage drainage. I don't know if it's just the turn of the weather. A seasonal thing. Yeah, and I lose my voice for about a week. Yeah. So I'm just now starting to get my voice back. So if I sound, <laughs> like if you're listening closer to the TV. What the hell, Chris? Do you need a <laughs> harmonica? What? I <laughs> so I was, I sounded just like this Tuesday and Wednesday, but mine only mm -hmm. lasted two days. But it was all seasonal. Look. Yeah, it is. Anyway. So, this is a floss tube about cross-stitch. Oh, yeah, go figure. So. <laughs> we, are, we are all about cross-stitch. But that's why we have not seen just, you for six weeks. Yeah, it's just... We're sorry. It's, yeah, it's been one thing after another, but, you know, we're mm -hmm. still here. We're still stitching away. And yes. <laughs> believe it or not, still loving life, you know, even when, even when things are down. And, mm -hmm. you know, you have when, each other. You have each other. You have your, your family. You have yes. stitching. You know, it's all good. Yes, All good is. stuff. So, <laughs> so, with all that uh, out of the way, so today is September 20th, September 20th. Happy birthday, Mary. <laughs> I think that's where we started. Happy birthday, Mary. <laughs> so let's, let's start with our, um, our round, round robin. robin. So you, you guys know, about because we've talked about it for the last year, about this round, rob, round robin blackbird, um, our lasting friendship. It's this, this guy here. Yes. That we're doing with the Crock-Pot crew. Um, yes. We have one more rotation to do. Yeah. Um, with August being wonky like it was, we kind of... Because we weren't the only ones yeah, that were we, experiencing right. life. So we, we, we skipped the, the switch last week, so or last month. But we still have one more to go. So we're hopeful that we get it done. So anyway, I have... Kate. I have Katie glasses. So this is where Katie's is at so far. We hold this the whole thing up, and you hold yours up, and then I'll fold mine. And the reason um, everybody is doing the same sampler, but we all chose to do, um, like Pam and Steph <clears throat> chose to do the called for colors, and then everybody else chose to um, do their own colors. So this is Melissa's. Dang on it. Why do you always have, it's just such a nice, <laughs> this is Melissa's. I love this tree. That is so, such a pretty tree. So the, the section that we did, oops, not, look, see, I dropped it too. Good. This, this little section that down here, that, that's, that's the part I think that we stitched yeah. this time was these, this bottom. 
And so there's only one section. more section left. Can you guess where that extra section goes? <laughs> Nobody will ever figure that one out. <laughs> and so we we're getting there. Put the year down here somewhere. <laughs> we're a mess. <laughs> so we had to watch. It's been so long. We've never been six weeks. We've been four well, before. Twenty twenty, we were pretty horrible. But well, we have yeah, before we, we before summer. we um, videoed this. We watched our last video because, like, where did we leave off? I don't no remember. Idea. Anyway, this was our lasting friendship. <clears throat> so yeah. I know <laughs> I can't help it. If I talk, I cough. <laughs> All right, let's let's do whips. You first, I have, I you have, have a few. I have a few. So I we're two. we're gonna try something new. Um, it may or yes. may not work, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. So bear with us. Um, a, whatever we, you'll get this. Look. So this one, I this is a new start for me. I, I started my Mirabilia, my very first Mirabilia. This is Princess Eliana. So I am stitching her on a purple fabric by Oksana in a thirty-two count. I love all of it. Oh, I just dropped Molly. So <laughs> this is this is where I am with Princess Eliana. But look at her pretty colors. And they go perfect on that fabric by Oksana. Yeah, it's I think it's really gonna be pretty. So I don't know how frequently I'll <laughs> stitch on this one, but I just I I was sad and I wanted to do something with color. So color. Yes. So that was that was beautiful. That was a, a new start. So we haven't done anything new yet. No. It's come so up. nothing new yet. Um, <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you guys laugh as much, but <laughs> when I watch our video back, I am dying laughing the whole time. And I think we're hilarious. But And I'm not a funny person. I, neither am I. I know. <laughs> but we just have so but much we, fun It's fun doing it. It's it fun is. doing it. Um, <clears throat> My next whip. Now this one's gonna have a story. Oh, this one I can do the new thing. Oh yeah. So the last time I called her Tuesday. Yeah. So the last time, Tuesday. last time I stitched on this, it looked like this. And today, she looks like this. Woohoo! So much further. So this is Molly by Carriage House Samplings. Eventually she'll look like this. So she's. Don't say that. Don't she's say holy. that. Holy. She's holy. She's, she's hideously adorable. I love her. So this one has a little bit of a story. So when I was packing yeah. on that Monday that my brother called to say, you need to come back to Minnesota, um, you know, I had like four hours to pack, clean, fig and, and get to the air. All of it. It was all, it was very rushed. My daughter Alex was here. And I'm packing, you know, making sure just in case I pulled out funeral clothes and Mark's suit and shoes and ties and everything that we would need, you know, for that. So I, I, you know, I had all kinds of things in my head. What do I need to have prepared so that I can go? Then came the question, what do I bring to stitch? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to be doing anything complicated that I'm going to have to think. I want something that's just kind of whatever. And Alex said, Mom. And I apologize for calling it this, but she says, Mom, you should bring your ugly girl because she always makes you smile. And I thought, <coughs> you know, that I knew who exactly she was talking about, poor little Molly. But she does. She makes me smile every time I see her and her big old cat. It just makes me smile. So while the last week of my dad's life, while we were, you know, being vig vigilant in his, in his room, this, this is... This is what I would stitch on every day. So I like the cat. <laughs> I think the whole thing's <laughs> awesome. But but it was it was kind of neat because I literally you know was sitting in my dad's memory care room up at his his little apartment with my two brothers and my mom and and you know we were I would sit and stitch every day and you know hold my dad's hand and stitch some more and hold my mom's hand and stitch some more you know talk to my brother and it was interesting because my 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 one brother Corey was like wow it's neat to see how everybody processes grief differently you know my my one brother is very computer and tech you know so he would be talking all kinds of tech stuff that we had no idea what he was talking about but you know and I just hit my anyway 
but and my my brother Corey, you know, was very emotional and would process his external, you know, and and he looked at me. He was like, "Everybody's doing this differently. You're processing through your art." He goes, "You're you're processing your your grief through your stitching," and I was like, "Ha, huh, that's kind of beautiful." So then I made me wonder. Every, when I get when Molly's done and I've got her up in a wall, am I always going to think of my dad's death? How horrible is that? But then I realized, you know what? That would be a really wonderful thing to think about because I'm going to cry again, damn it! Because it was so beautiful. It, it was mm -hmm. just I want to I want to die as well, yes. as, as well as my dad did. He was. I mean. We were all there around him. His his wife of 68 years was wow. literally holding his hand when wow. he took his last breath. I mean, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Anyway, that's all the crying as my grandson started crying. Um, why don't you take a go? Okay. So, and this is... Um, this by is, the way, I wanted to let you guys know, during the four weeks, I did not stitch hardly anything. She had no time, zero. I, had, I mean, at nighttime came, I was exhausted. I am not an early to bed person, but I knew those little cuties are going to get up at <laughs> 6 30. And they do. And they do. <laughs> and then sometimes in the middle of the night where they just want to drink water. Mm -hmm. So I did not get a lot of stitching done, but when I did see back the video, I thought, Oh my gosh, I did, get a lot. I did get some done. So, and by the way, thank you for all of your comments saying that the fabric <laughs> that you actually do want to know, know what the fabric is. <laughs> so, I'm going to be showing you my pomegranate Santa. And the fabric is uh, from Color and Cotton. And it is Mushroom. 32 count Jobelin. So now you know it is mushroom. And so here is going to be what it looked like before. Okay, now you know where I was. She said we had to wait three seconds. Now you get to see where I am. Look! She, I got finished. She the, did make the a Mr. difference. Mr. Santa. Before, I, before it was just his head. And I got his whole body finished. And I'm getting the rope to where the sleigh will be. Look at him. Look at him. I think, he's so cute. I love his socks. His, his socks, socks are tickling me. Yeah, they are. So, I did get some Yay. done. I'm so glad. So, my next whip. Whip it. it is this Middle Mist Red, oh. Middle Mist Red Sampler by Sassafrax, 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 Sassafrax Samplers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, so this is, times. this is the one, if you remember, I, I bought some 46 count tiramisu, um, I thought it was, it was labeled <laughs> as a 40, it was, it was at a, at a retreat. So it was just a, a handwritten pinned on label mm -hmm. and it said 46, it actually is 40 count. So. After I cut and started stitching, I was like, ooh. Anyway, here's where I was at our last video. <laughs> here's where I'm at now. <laughs> so it does make it all the way across, and I think I will be absolutely fine. I'm still not positive that I like it or not. I, I don't know. I, it's, I like it better, I will say that. So... And it's a fun little easy stitch, but I don't know. That's where I'm at. It's very stark for you. It's, and there's no variegation. That, and that's what it is. It. It's, but we'll, we'll see. I'll continue Over, on. You like the over I'll, I'll continue on, and, and it'll probably grow and grow and grow I in my heart. Beautiful. So Thank you. Thank I you very like much. Do you want to share another one? Um, I, I, only share. Have one I only have one more. Oh, well, then I will share mine. Okay, so remember, I was doing the Blackbird Woodland Berries. Okay, so this is in the Blackbird Loose um, Feathers. Yeah. Summer. This is, yes, the Loose Feathers Summer. And I chose to do this, this uh, small in the back.
back. And I absolutely love it. I chose to do it with the called for silks um, that are on there. Oh, by the way, the pomegranate was called for colors too. And I didn't deviate from any of the colors. She always changes her always. colors. So at first when I started this, I, I thought, oh, this is gonna be kind of bland, but I am loving it. So this is what where I was with it. And here's where I'm at. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see what colors the berries are going to be. They are going to be so amazing. So this is actually so beautiful and dainty and I'm loving love it. it. Well, and then blackboard, blackbird colors are always so soft. So and, soft. And, and they just seem to like blend in with each other so well. So I like them. those I like are the two things. And I... I'm glad I got to stitch those times, but I'm honest, honestly, I was exhausted. So my last whip is, it's a, a PDF, so it's a um, Long Dog Sampler, if I can get the name to show up. No, too much glare in here. This is Pavane for These Times, Long Dog Sampler. So that's what I've been working on. It is, um, I'm doing it on 40 count, one over one. It's just a plain old white opalescent fabric, and I'm using different um, different shades of red, red to black. So this is where I am at. I don't have a previous picture because this one I didn't work on last time. Yeah. So this is where I'm at with this. I love it. I, I don't know if you could see the colors of the cinder, but oh so my the, gosh. This cinders. color here is cinder. It's so beautiful. And the words I believe are in cinder. This I think is um, Bing Cherry, Bing, Bing cherry, I think, and I don't remember what the red is, but then this down here is just DMC 310. It's just black. Black. And then it'll... So this is the one that, if you remember, had um, the little bit of yellowing yes. on it. So I never did get it completely out. It has dim diminished, but the picture finishes here, so it's not even going to hit where that yellowing was. So I think, We're gonna I think I'm okay. good, but I'm really liking this. I think this mm -hmm. is... I That's really beautiful. like this. I love and it. it. And it's... 40 over 1 is just, it's really small. I love it. I and do love everyone it. Everyone says that you should have at least one red sampler in your house. They say that. Does that count as Who? a red sampler? Yes. Okay, I'll take it. It does have all that red in it. So, I have some finishes. Yes, you do. I have, and actually, I have one more whip, but it's kind of attached to a finish. So, I'm just going to show the finish. So, I'm working on Hello from Liz Matthews, 12 Days of Christmas. I've got one complete. I just finished day two and I've started day three. My fingers are hurting. I think I stitched too much. Anyhow, so here's one and two, but there's number two is right there. So I finished that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I did love start. The houses. I did start day three, but. Are, oh, look at those houses. I love this. I think this is so pretty. So this is Hello from Liz Matthews, first, second, and third days of Christmas. I've already purchased the fourth day. She is so creative. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She's so talented. So I have the fourth day bought. The fifth day has been released. I haven't bought it yet, but it's got the, the five gold rings, but she did them five gold embroidery hoops with the letters P-E-A-C-E -E inside Aww. each, and she did them with a, a metallic gold. It's lovely. I cannot wait. Oh my god. So that will be my that will be my next purchase. Um, mm -hmm. This is a new finish. This is a little little summer sampling by Lottie Da. I just finished Lottie. this the other day and I was so excited because this one sorry. This one I stitched on 46 count white one over one. Oh, look so, how tiny it is. Look how little it is. Isn't it just cute? Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. So uh, let me see if I can get this closer. Wow, isn't that cute? A uh, beyond cute. I love it. So this this again, forty six count one over one. Gosh. I used um. It should be like this. I used and um. I, it was too too fine to use regular floss, so I had to use mm -hmm. um. It was a Guterman fine oh, sewing right. fine sewing thread, but oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. I love how this turned out. It is beautiful. 
beautiful. Thank you. I don't know that I'll do another 46 or mm -hmm. because I, I wanted to do at least one. And this was, mm -hmm. I thought, small enough to do. And still look beautiful. Yeah. And I, I, I it was a little tight for me, but... <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Yamir, yeah, I. I don't think it. I'm gonna do it's another a 92 one. Ninety-two but... count. <laughs> oh. And I have one more. F no, I have two more finishes. Yes, you so, do. So on Wednesday, today's Monday. So yes. Wednesday, um, I'm going to Galleria out in in Missouri, I believe. And yes. one of the classes I signed up for is how to finish strawberries. Strawberry finishes. I've never done a strawberry. So, I bought this one when we went out to Indiana. Um, it seems like forever ago now. Yeah. But this is the Summer Berry, Sunshine Berry by Erica Michaels. And um, I wanted to get this stitched before Galleria so that, here's the picture of the back because it's got the, the back side of the berry <laughs> where it says, you are my sunshine. <laughs> but I didn't, did I didn't realize it, but when you, <laughs> when you have it flat and you look at it, it says, my sunshine are you. <laughs> so this is, Yoda. yeah, so this is my... Anyway, so this is a finish that I will bring with me to Galleria yes. um, to hopefully learn how to finish a strawberry. But I just thought it was so pretty. It's just pretty. And I did this on a 40 count opalescent white. I hope you learn how to finish it so that when I do my strawberries, you can finish all mine. Okay, I will happily. <laughs> so my last finish, which I am super, super mm -hmm. stoked about, um, this is the one that I had a deadline for. I wanted to get this done. I don't know if you remember. I wanted to get it done by August 27th because that was my joyous day that I met my husband. So this is Blackbird's Oh Joyous Day. And remember, people, I would I, I would have passed this up. I would have too, but I saw a few people do them, and I still I bought it. I was like, mm. then I'd see it done. Mm. Till you see it. Sure. Anyway, so here's where I was. Last video, and today it is done. Yay! Oh my god! It gosh. is done. Look at it. How oh my gosh! Beautiful. It's, it is. It is beautiful. So here's Oh Joyce Day, August twenty seventh. That was the date that Mark and I had our very first date, and somewhere on here I put two thousand eighteen, but. Oh, this is down here. I was just going to say, I didn't see it. And then I put over here, I put our initials L and M over there. So that's got all of our... So sweet. Isn't it? Oh my gosh. I, every time I look at this, I just love it. It's so sweet. So another fun thing, because I wanted this done and I wanted, I'll, I'll be framing it myself, but I wanted to buy, I wanted to see if I could find an old or vintage or antique frame or a second hand frame so when I was in Minnesota the first time when I had the car my mom and I went to thrift stores and, and things and I found a couple of frames I'm gonna I'm gonna I have I ha was showing crystal so they happen to be right here so you have to see them and you can give us your thoughts so I bought two and I got them for less than five dollars and I, I'll be able to, um, you know, cut them down and, and resize and do whatever. But here's one option. Let me hold it up here. So that would be one option. I got this one. I love. I got this one for four dollars. A four dollar frame that I can. And I, this is not working. Why am I doing it this way? So know. that would be. You're pulling a crystal. I am trying to. There. There we go. So that would be one. <laughs> Guess which one Crystal likes. The other one. That's one. And then there's this guy. I just love how the greens and gold in that frame look. So this is number two. So that is the second choice. Anyway, these were just two frames that I picked up mm -hmm. um, at a thrift store that I thought were really kind of neat. They're both way too big, so I'll, but I'll be able to cut them down and redo. So let's take a vote. Black one or green one? <laughs> I, I am curious to see what, what people would pick, though. So do, yeah. do let us know if you like the black one or the green one better. You can tell you like the black one because you shared it longer. <laughs> yes, I can tell. 
I actually am kind of leaning towards the green one, but oh good. I, I, the only reason I shared it longer is because I was struggling with the fabric trying to get it to. Anywho. <laughs> <sighs> now can we do haul? Yes, I have a I have a little bit. Yeah, okay, I have a a little, little bit, bit more. more. <laughs> okay, so um, I ordered from Stephanie at Keepsakes some of the Expo uh, things. And so, oh, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go from all of them are my favorites, too. But I'm going to show you the ones that little less, more, more, more until the best. Okay. To the favoritist. The favoritist. Okay, mm -hmm. so these, I've been, I've noticed that I've been collecting cardinal um, ornaments to stitch and put on my tree. And this is from Blackberry Lane Designs, and it's called When Cardinals Appear. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Here, while, while I'm doing this, you take the plastic off. Because you, it, you know, the reflection, <laughs> they, glare. they do, they glare. And I don't know why I didn't think about it, but heck. Because you're crazy. But there are the two. And so, and I love this because it's the same bird in the middle but two separate borders to be stitched. You see that? You I see love that? it. I love it. So I cannot wait to do those for my ornaments. And then, and then the next one is uh, Manny Di Donna, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's called The Good Life. <gasps> Look at that. I love The Good Life. I love The Good Life too. And then, this one's my favorite. This one's our favorite, but it's so cool too. It is called, it is from the Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And it's called Peace Winter at the Pansy Patch Manor. Look at that. I love all of it. I'm going to shrink the snowman down a little bit. Though. I don't think she should. I'm going to shrink the snowman down. She should listen. <laughs> she should listen to me. <laughs> I'm going to shrink the snowman down a little bit. I'm going to use because... the black frame. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a brat. <laughs> you are such a brat. <laughs> She's, She's trying to talk me out of doing this. <laughs> so, but I'm still That's going to shrink it. But, and That's then... I, I don't have the last one. Uh, it wasn't in a... Oh, okay. Then the last one. Oh my gosh. I'm being such a big girl in the stitch world. She is. I'll grow up doing grown I'm up. I'm grown stitching. up. Because I'm going to do my first Rosewood Manor. And this is called Owl's Moor Cottage. And the reason why I love it, you guys will see, is I love green. It's my favorite color in the world. And this has so many beautiful, beautiful those trees. greens. And the trees oh. are so unusual in it. Yes. I, I mean, it. look at that. And then I love this thing here. I love the border, you guys. It is so awesome. Look at that house with the green roof and door. My house, I think I'm going to paint it white now and put a green roof and door. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, I, green Gables was just one of my... Just Anne of Green Gables was one of my favorite, favorite shows. And I always loved that White House and, and Green. But my husband won't let me paint it, our house because it's a beautiful brick color. But anyway, look at these. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. And look at the, you can actually like make scissor fobs out of these things. Um, you know, but I am going to do the whole thing. And I it am is beautiful. in love. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, okay, I have one more thing to share. So Susan Coates, she is one of the um, uh, uh, employees at our local keepsakes. Um, and she is so uber talented. She's just, she is just incredibly talented. And so I bought one of her bags at StitchCon. And I loved how big they were and how sturdy they were. And so she said that I could go onto her fabric website that she buys from and I could pick out a fabric and she would make me a bag. And I said, that would be wonderful. 
So I went on, and this is... That is perfect for you. Oh, my gosh. Perfect I mean, look, for you. It's got red sunflowers, cardinals with cardinals. the sunflowers. Oh, it's even got blue jay. Oh, look at that. Oh, and another. What is that? Oreo wren? R uh, um, it's another bird. A goat. A, a goat. A, finch. a, a goat. <laughs> it's a goat. A goat. It is not. No, I don't know what it is. It's a bird. Know. It's a bird. Um, but anyway, look at her. This is just, it, it is It me. is really nice. It is really quality. It, I, I wish you guys could feel this. This is, this is top of the line quality. It's and perfect. Then, it's exactly you. It is. And then I asked her to make a notions mm. bag and she had one at StitchCon, but I, I wasn't, I, I mean, it was a great design. It was more of a fold envelope type of thing and it opened up and she had, you know, things, mm -hmm. uh, pulleys where it held your scissors and then your threads and stuff. But I like a notions bag that is, is deep. And so look what she made me. And guys. Oh my gosh, it stands up. It stands up. Look at the little gusset on the side. Yes. Oh my gosh. She made this and look. In here is where you put your scissors so you know where they are. And you can put floss. your thread and your floss. Oh my gosh. It's got this beautiful pocket. And then... What's her website? Yeah, she's got it on the back too. X Stitch Fancies. X Stitch Fancies on Instagram. Yes. Show, the, show this a little close. All right. So this is where she's... Where it's right there. X Stitch Fancies on Instagram. That is good to know. I'm going to go with that. And I tell you, this, I love this bag. This is amazing. And this was the first of her designs that she did it in this the style. Uh, style. And she said since she has shown it, she has gotten so many requests good. for this bag. Good. You should so, get a cut. I tell you. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell her that my, my follower, my people, my you are my people. Um, just love this too because it is it is just so high quality I love this and so I was very excited this is my creme de la creme <laughs> I have a couple of purchases I, I actually have more than I don't know where they are I, I bought I, so stuff so many things over the last but I, this is these are the things I bought from Stitchville so I've been looking for this ever since I saw Stephanie Schaffner of Just Keep Stiffin. Stiffin. <laughs> they have t-shirts now. If you can't remember, you can just wear it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Stephanie started this at my house last October, and I just yes. thought it was adorable. And mm -hmm. I've kind of had my eye out for it at a couple, of, and I've never been able to find it. I looked in Indiana. They didn't have it. I looked in Wisconsin. They didn't. The and the keepsakes, thing. they were out of it. Uh-huh. But when I went to Stitchville, they had it. So this is Plum Street's um, Judge Knot. I just, I love all those little, mm -hmm. all the little sheep. I thought it was super cute. So different. But I, I really like that. So Stephanie, I blame you for me loving <laughs> that. Um, this is called To the Moon. I don't know who it's by. Elizabeth Ann, no. Dames of the Needle, to, to the Moon. This made me think of my friend Delisha. So I got this thinking of you, Delisha. I love it. I think it's super she's cute. She's my friend too. She's she's everyone's friend. She, she anybody is, that she meets, she, she is your friend. Seriously, immediately. So she has Kentucky sass on um, yes. on uh, floss tube. Um, she's pretty awesome. She is. Um, awesome. So a few years ago, I I did uh, Charlie Harper's um, Claire de Lune um, for the cabin up in Minnesota by the lake because it's all decorated in loons. And um, when I was up at Stitchville, I saw Charlie Harper. Um, bears a bear one and my other cousin who has the cabin next door is decorated all in bears so this is called bear in the birches i is that it, it's just so clever. i thought that was just clever as can be it is so i think i might stitch this for them but you know how it goes you, you get too many things started and you never finish <laughs> i know how that I, goes i don't know anybody <laughs> So, my last giant purchase was not, I got from Shakespeare's Peddler, just a PDF, just a PDF. But I've been watching um, Lisa Smith on Kindred Stitcher, Kindred, the Kindred Stitcher. I've been watching her progress on the Andale Sampler, and 
every time she's shown it, it's like, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my God. And it got more and more. So anyway, I, I bought it. <laughs> so that is Andale. And um, I, I, I just think it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful sampler. Yes. It's humongous. Um, but when I was at Stitchville, I bought all the silk floss, all the silk threads to do this. Tell before them what you called and said to so Mark. before before I made that purchase, I sent Mark a text saying, "You love me, right? Just remember, you love me." He's like, "Of course, I love you more than anything. I love." It's like, "Okay, just remember that." Ka-ching! Holy what? What did you just buy? <laughs> yeah, I did that, and I'm glad I did it. That's I wouldn't right. do it again, but yes, she would. I would. Anyway, th that's those are all the purchases. Those are all the purchases that I could find. I, I know I, I I don't know. I know I'll have more next time because Galleria is this weekend. <laughs> I've never been. I have never been. One of the girls dropped out, so I, I filled in for her, and I'm really excited. So I've got that strawberry finishing class, and and I may pick up another. Class while I'm there, and I was looking. You're gonna over, have so much. I was fun. looking over the list of uh, designers that are gonna be there. It's like, oh my gosh, I may not do a lick of stitching. I may just <laughs> do the oohs and ahs and just oh keep my going gosh, from right. There. That's yeah. that's what I'm kind of hoping. So mm -hmm. anyway, so we're leaving. I'm going with um with Pam and Stephanie. Um, we're leaving Wednesday morning, driving the day, and then I think it starts Thursday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think, and I'll be back on Sunday. I'm very excited though. So this this will be fun. Yes. This I'm excited for you to come back so I can live through your experience. Live vicariously through me. I will. I'll take I'll take lots of notes. Okay. <laughs> I won't. But okay. I'll, I'll think about take at the end of the day I'll be like, dang it, I meant to take notes. If you see anything that you know I would love, send me a picture and I'll have you buy it for you. You bet. I can do that. I know. You're, I can do that. You're, you're good. So other than um Galleria, I don't think I've got a whole lot going on. Well, in well, three weeks, we're going to Michigan. We are. We're doing our drifting dunes in dunes Michigan. In place of Whistle Stop. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'm, that'll be I'm fun. so ready for it. Yeah, the nice thing about that getaway is it's strictly stitching. It's all we do. There's no classes. There's no, no shopping. There's no one else but our group. Yeah, so it's And just, that's what we do. We wake up in the morning, days we stitch. Stitching. We go to bed at night and stitch, and it's, I mean, it, it's probably my favorite, my favorite retreat. Not that I don't miss you guys or don't, but it is, it is relaxing. nothing but stitching, and it is. It's like everything is just, for those Gosh, four that's only days, in three weeks. For those four days. Super cool. I know. All righty. Well, We're that's done. all I got. So, thank you guys. We appreciate thank you, you coming much. back. Appreciate your patience. Uh, appreciate your patience through the tears and the everything. But um, we know that you guys good. understand. Yeah, all good. We love you. We Thank love you. you. Thanks, guys. I'm Lisa. I'm Crystal. And we are stitching the dream. Your glass is empty. Oh, my throat was dry. <laughs>